three pieces of advice for building a personal brand in 2024. So I was actually just on the phone with one of my private mentor clients. He's a huge real estate fund. And I told him, I said, look, man, imagine a hypothetical that there's a conference somewhere in the world, okay? And it's called the 20 best conference. And then it's on a specific subject. And every single person who enters their name to be on stage, they get up there in front of thousands of people and they have to say, hi, my name is, you know, Bob. And I'm one of the 20 best in the world on blankety blank subject. Okay. So to build your personal brand, what would be your blankety blank? So this guy I was just talking to goes, Hey Ty, well, I've raised capital from 35,000 people over 250 million. I said, that needs to be your personal brand. At least half of what you post has to be around a niche. And I said, do you think you're in the top 20 in the world in raising that much capital in the last five years? And he's like, heck yeah. So that's what you, if, if your thing is sharpening a knife, in the last, you could stand on at a conference with thousands of people on stage and you could get on stage and say, let me show you, I'm the best knife sharpener in the world. I can talk about it for hours. I can talk about different sharpening stones. If your thing is you know more about shoes than anybody, you're like, I'll go on a conference called the 20 best shoe, you know, <laughs> 20 most knowledgeable shoe sneaker heads. Both, that should be your personal brand. And what people make the mistake is they go broad and they're like, I'm going to be a life coach or I'm going to help people make money. It's too saturated for that. I tell people, 2009 called, they want their business advice back. Because in 2009, you could build a, I started in 09. I could go more general because there was no competition. There was no competition. There was very few people on his, I mean, Instagram didn't even exist. <laughs> YouTube was new. There was really only Twitter. Twitter was around and there was Facebook. So... No more mistake, going broad. Best advice, picking that thing. Now, some of you are going to say, but Ty, I don't think anything on earth, I'm in the top 20. Then my answer is, don't build your personal brand yet. Or, if you couldn't be at any conference, then B, the next option, would A, is don't build a personal brand yet. You ain't ready. You're not qualified. Or B, build one about your journey. Like your personal brand could be like, yo, I realized I don't know shit about making money and I don't know, investing in the stock market. So I'm on a journey and I'm gonna share on my Instagram the next hundred days. I'm gonna talk to a hundred smartest stock traders in the world, you know, and I'm going to share it on my Insta. So you can also make your mess your message. So if you don't qualify, if you're not qualified, you don't have a lot of skill, you couldn't stand on stage and mesmerize a crowd on a subject, then you just fall back, either go gain a skill, which is still valid. Not every person on earth needs to have try to build a huge personal brand. It's just not realistic. You gotta have some people watching the brand. You can't have everyone be a brand. It's not possible, right? If everybody was a clothing brand, had their own clothing brand, then there would be no need for a clothing brand. You'd just be making your own shirt. So some people should not build a personal brand until they have more skill unless they want to do the whole vulnerable journey thing.